G'day guys, welcome back. I just wanted to show you this big pour that I did from my live the other day. It's uh, dried beautifully. I don't know what it is about sandwich pours. They just dry so silky soft. I don't know, maybe it's because I tip so much paint off. So yeah, it's dried really nicely. And I'm sorry I it was all blurry at the end of that live video. I didn't realise that I shouldn't move the um the camera. Like who knew? So here it is. It's not as yellow as I was hoping for, but in saying that, have a look. That's the bedding that it's to match. So that doesn't actually have yellow in it, so to speak. I mean, it's got that sort of mustard pillow there, but the um, the leaves are sort of like a, I don't know, mustardy, browny, orangey sort of a, a look. So I think it matches really, really nicely to the bedding. Certainly not as yellow as the... Um, the balloon medallion one was but I didn't want this to be I wanted it to be more toned down so there it is it matches really nicely don't you think <laughs> uh, a few of my bloom boxes at the back here once they're dried and cured properly then I'll I'll resin them right oh so yeah just wanted to show you that and uh, now I will Get started on today's pour. See you in a sec. So I'm going to do a swipe. Sort of a very minimalistic swipe. I've got some Naples yellow, some grey. I know, it's sort of <laughs> um, kind of like the painting that I just did, but I'm going to swipe with teal. And then I've got some white. So these are the three colours I'm going to pour over the canvas. Look how bubbly they are. I just made them up. So I'll put some silicone in those in a minute and then I'm going to swipe with teal just to see what happens. I don't want a really bright painting. Uh, I just want something that's, I don't know, just a little bit plain but with little pops of colour. So the teal and the yellow will hopefully give it that little bit of a more of a greenish tone. I was unsure whether or not to put some blue in with this. We'll see what it looks like. Um, if it's not quite what I'm after, I might add a little bit of blue in there. So pouring medium, my usual, 60% glue, 40% water. Now when I do my swipes, I have one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint. So I've got 90 grams of pouring medium to 60 grams of paint. So three ounces of pouring medium, two ounces of paint. And that's what I've got in there. My swipe colour, I do like that to be a little bit thinner, so I have a two to one ratio. So that one is, um, I did 30 grams, which is one ounce of pouring medium, and just 15, oh, it's a bit wobbly, half an ounce. Let's bend that a bit. I've used this before, this canvas. Give it a bit of a, uh, it still wants to wobble a bit. I'll just undo this a little bit. Maybe it can. Uh, it just push pins underneath there. Sometimes you can pull out one push pin a little bit if it's a little bit wobbly. Anyway, it'll be fine. It's it's not going to run off anywhere. Right. So all Montmartre. I've got white. We've got a grey that I've made up. The Naples yellow that I made up. And the teal is just phthalo blue and green to make that teal colour. I've got my piece of plastic that I'm going to swipe with. I've got a little card in case I need that. Alrighty, so no oil in that one. Let's put oil in this. Treadmill silicone. And let's do three in each because they're quite big cups. I find what you don't need as much oil. Um... Yeah, that'll do. I find you don't need as much oil with um, 
when you're doing your swipes. Like you don't need to have one drop per ounce because the mix is a bit thinner. It kind of, yeah, you can get away with less, I find. But if you want lots of cells, you know, you can put more in for sure, by all means. So you can either put your oil in your colours or you can just put it in your swipe colour. If you've, you know, if you've mixed it up and you lay them out and you've gone, oh my gosh, I've forgotten to put the oil in, you can put it in your swipe colour and um, it'll work just fine. So let's start layering some paints out. I might do a few different layers. So I'll leave some in there. Just spread it out and then I'm going to tilt to cover the whole thing. So it doesn't really matter how you do that, just whatever takes your fancy. Pour it all out. I may not use all the white, I'll see. See how much paint I've got, hey, when I've finished. Or otherwise, maybe I can put the white on the edge. Although, I think the white against the teal will look quite nice. Don't worry if you haven't filled in your whole canvas. If, you know, you've got gaps here and there, that's fine. I'm going to tilt in a minute anyway and cover everything. I will put a little bit, I'll put some white on the edges first. That way we know that everything's going to be covered. What are you doing, Miss Ruby? I've got little Ruby in here with me. She's tiny. She's my smallest teacup poodle. She's only 1.2 kilos. What's 1.2 kilos in pounds? Mm. Don't know. <laughs> Is it two pounds in a kilo? No, 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 it's not. It doesn't matter. Right. She's having fun anyway, just playing with herself. She's found something to play with. All right, now there's a big empty section there. And I'm just going to pick up some of this white just so that I don't have to tip too much off to cover that doesn't matter what you put in there it's, it's going to be all blended anyway so it doesn't matter if it doesn't look beautiful now if you've got some paint that's dripped off that's fine pick that up pour it on your corners it's very forgiving this type of technique the old swipe Just take your tool around so that you don't drip. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but just a habit I've got into is always going around like that so I don't drip. Just going to put that paint on the, the sides and the edges there. Okay, now we need to pick this up and give it a bit of a, a tilt around. Make sure everything's covered. Make sure our sides are covered. I don't want to leave too much paint on the surface. You do need to tip some off. If you leave too much on, then your cells, once you get your cells up, they'll just keep growing and growing and growing. So it's a fine line and it just comes down to practice as to how much paint to leave on there. You can't tip too much off because then you just won't have enough paint left to uh, create the cells. But you don't want to leave too much on there either. So it's a fine line. Radio. Um, don't worry about your bubbles and things. We're going to torch in a minute anyway. Now, just to you, hold on to your stick like that. If you do that, your stick's going to fall out. So I just hold on to my stick like that. Now, a tiny, tiny little bit of paint. That's all you need. I always have trouble. I always put too much on. Start here. Put your blob down there first. And then your fine line. Otherwise, if you start there, you'll have a big blob. So... Start here, and then that's it. 
it's all you need see it's way too much paint i probably just needed oh i'm supposed to mix up 20 parts pouring medium and 10 of pouring of um, paint but it was such a tiny little bit in the bottom that i i ended up putting a little bit more in okay now i've got my paper towel here ready to catch my plastic on so let's pop i'm going to use i'm going to go about halfway so put the plastic in so let's sit into the swipe color and drag towards you make sure that you've got one foot in front of the other you guys so that you don't fall over backwards <laughs> Now that's dirty on the other side there, see? So you can either clean it off, which I will do, and then I can use the other side for the other half. All right, now overlap a little bit, otherwise you'll get the that paint, which is thicker, pushing up into your other swipe. So just, again, touch into the teal. Come down. Okay, clean that off. Now I've used that, so I'll just wipe this again. I have got another piece of paper towel here ready to go for my other side. So we'll turn her around. See the teal is throwing a little bit of blue, isn't it? Which is lovely. So that's why I didn't add that extra blue because teal obviously is green and blue mixed together. Right, now, Again, use your plastic, the other side, which is hopefully clean. Just got a little bit of a blurred gray into that. So I'm just gonna put that there and one foot in front of the other. Touch your teal very gently and off you go. You're not putting any pressure down on your plastic. You're just gently, gently pulling it towards you. No, don't push down at all. It's always a fly that makes its way in here, hey? I'm sure it just wants to say hello to you guys. Annoying fly. Fold that over. Okay, last little bit. Here we go. Overlap a touch. Make sure you hold on the bottom there. If you hold on to the sides like that, see what's happening? It's curving. So hold on the bottom like that. That way you'll get a, a flatter piece of plastic. I've got a bit of a grey stripe through there. Must have picked up a little bit of grey from the middle there. That's okay. All right, so that's done. Um, if you particularly didn't like that there, um, you know, you could you could swipe again. Um, I'm just <clears throat> deciding whether or not I want to actually swipe again because I've got a lot of the teal still there. I may go again, just getting some more paper towel out. So even that tiny little bit of teal that I put in there is probably still too much for this size canvas. I'm going to take a little bit off here. So I just want some very thin amount of teal over the top. So you're getting those beautiful colours through there now. Now I don't want that stripe of grey again. So let's just hide that grey. Putting down just the tiniest little bit of teal again, just there. Because there's not much there. So it's quite thick there. And then let's go again. Oh, that's pretty. That's nice. Bit of a area there where I've missed. So depending on how much you like having that darker section in the middle, you could possibly leave it like that. But because I've swiped there, I need to get rid of some of this as well. 
So it's it's tricky, you know, having no, oh, I need another piece of paper towel. That's that's not doing anything. Um, it's it's really hard just putting down the tiniest little bit of paint. If you put too much down, then you have you know a big area like that of the darker area, which which is fine. Um, you just won't be able to get cells up through that. So, but if you want cells everywhere, you kind of need to put less on. But then it's really hard to swipe. You kind of pick up the colours underneath if you've got a really, really thin line. That's the only downside of it, I guess. Okay, here we go again. Sticking to my gloves. Oh, very stripey. A lot of grey there. I wonder if I'm going to get cells up through that grey. Not sure. We shall. We shall see. I'm trying to wipe this. Everything's sticking to my gloves. All right. Here we go. Last little bit. Just into that bit of teal there. And you're only just touching the oh, probably about that much of your plastic into the teal you don't want to touch it right back here because you're just going to pull too much color off you just want the teal to be dragged over the top if you put your plastic down and it's like touching here what's that what are you then you're going to you're going to drag too much paint off um <clears throat> i don't know what that is it must have been i think there was a hair it's always a hair I don't like all that grey. I'm going to swipe over that little bit of grey. I'm going to swipe over this little hair. Just with my little piece of card. See that? Much better. A little bit over here. Oh, there's something in there. There's something still in there. Must be a hair. Probably one of mine. <laughs> Got my hair in a ponytail. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Might as well get rid of this little blob here as well. But I don't want to make it so white, so let's just tear a piece off. And there we go. It's gone. Didn't like that little white blob there, did we? Okay, well, that's looking pretty. <clears throat> I guess if you didn't want to fuss with all of that, and I'm going to do, after this video, we'll do, I'll do the same colours. Um, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll do exactly the same colours. I'll just pour the swipe colour at the top. We'll swipe down once. Some people might find it a little bit difficult, you know, doing both sides. And then, you know, you get that line in the middle. So up to you which way you like. Um, you can, after maybe six, eight hours, come back and do some balloon dips into your cells if you want to. But let's see what these cells are going to look like, eh? We'll start nice and high. I don't want too many. I don't want clusters. Just round, round, slowly in little circles. Actually, I thought it was going to be more grey. Who knows with acrylic pouring, hey, your colours mix in together and you really have no idea what you're going to get till, till you've got it. Oh, whoops, I got a bit close there. I was saying to myself, I'm not going to get anything under this white, so I went a bit closer. Bad move. Oh, wow, look at it. All right. Now I'm going to try and get a little bit in here. I have to be very careful because I don't want to get too close to the cells that we've already got. I want to see some of that background, so I don't want to get too much in the way of sellage. She says as she gets more sellage. Wow, you guys, look at that. My goodness, isn't that pretty? 
Wow. Those cells are amazing. Let me take it down for a close-up. I'm going to take a photo of it, and then I can mix up some more paints, and uh, we'll do the swipe the other way, just do one swipe. I call this one a reflection swipe, you know, going from one side to the other, from the middle out, I call it a reflection swipe. Generally more so reflection swipe when it's got more of that swipe colour in the centre because it does look much more like a reflection. But because I've swiped twice, which is fine, and don't be afraid to do that if you've put too much of your swipe colour in, it's just fine, you can go again. As long as you've left enough paint on the surface. If you've tilted too much off, your cells won't come up. What do you think of that colour scheme, hey? That's different. I was wanting to do something a little bit different for this one, rather than my usual blues and greens. She says that she's got blues and greens in here. Oh, well, the teal and the yellow made the green. But you can still see little pops of that teal, can't you? Little pops of teal coming through. Would have liked more teal, I guess, but I'm going to try one of these colour schemes in, um, in my big swipes, you know, with the um, Extreme Sheen. So you get cells without using silicone oil. Oh, I love that, you guys. Love, love, love it. I think my grey could have possibly been a little bit on the dark side, a, a darker side. This grey is kind of throwing a little bit of a brownish tinge. I might put more of a charcoal in on the next one just to see what happens. What do you think? All right, I'm going to leave it at that. And um, I'll mix up some colours and I'll be right back and we shall do it again. See you soon. Bye for now.